Uh, being a girl. Being a girl. <laughs> being a girl. It's called the menstruation. Is it? This is the men's. All right. And uh, do you have the description as the mom uh, explains to the daughter how to put the porch swing together? All right. Perfect. Let's start with the first. The girl is very. um, She's, I guess, supposed to be 12. Probably. And she's the the girl that isn't as developed a 12 year old as her friend is. Yeah. So her mother is now telling her because actually it started out where she's talking to her, her mother how she wants to wear this pretty dress. And the mother goes, uh, you can't wear that. Uh, and then she goes, well, my friend can wear this dress. She's worn it. And she goes, no, nope, your friend is a little more developed than you are. Oh. So she has to tell her girls develop at a different age. And, and then she figured she'd start to tell her about menstruation. You know, it must suck to be a girl where, yeah. like, your friends, they get the boobies first. And then your mom sits you down and tells you, don't worry, you'll get the boobies. There are some girls out there that never get the boobies. They never get the boobies. <laughs> What well, are they there, are, there are guys that have to go in like the locker rooms at the junior high or whatever it is, and and they got the little pipsqueak, <laughs> the little clamshell yam bag with a not a hair on it, and then there's you know, angry big Jim Slade in the corner with the uh, you know the big bush and uh, an anaconda, you know, and that poor kid's got to sit there. I was uh, with what amounts to a baby's d- binky. I was <laughs> I was hung like an acorn in high school. <laughs> I'm no problem admitting it. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, yeah. um, I, I know didn't exactly say. what he's saying. I was on like five sports teams. It was ridiculous. I I pr- I developed pretty much the the norm, the av average age, everything. But I wouldn't shower. I just I found that a little gay to be showering in in school. It's not like you're playing goddamn football for the NFL. You're going out after the game to a party or something. I'm going home. I got a shower there. You know what I mean? Besides, you don't want to show off your sensitive neeps. I'm not showing off my neeps. No, that was a little earlier. That was like, I Did swear. Did you have little 11 buds? Or 12. <laughs> it was like, I'll explain exactly what it was like. It was like just beneath the uh, the uh, actual neepy area. There were, each one had a very... Defined, hard, like lumpy thing, right underneath the surface, and it was the glands forming. <laughs> you know, were you, come on. were you being felt up too much in uh, in high school there? No, here's During me square dancing. Here's me explaining, or my mother explaining. Mama, I want ninny. No, <laughs> didn't want ninny, Mama. I don't want my ninny. You must have looked ridiculous. No, you couldn't see them. <laughs> let me let me explain something to you, my friends. It was not visual at all. It was you could barely feel them, but it hurt like they were sensitive, and it was like uh, there. Who had bigger neeps back then? You or the thirteen-year-old girls? <laughs> the thirteen-year-old girls. Like I said, and I will continue to say. There was nothing that you couldn't see. Of course. There was no protuberance whatsoever. Uh, I, and I'm sure the listeners have heard you, Anthony. But if I press... And they will, and they will, uh, w- and they will recite that back to you during... What do we learn tonight? If I press <laughs> and within weeks, within weeks, it was gone. Mm-hmm. It was gone. They are not still there. It was uh, just below the surface. And that was it. That's all. No, Alex, I cannot shoot milk. It was called going through puberty. My neeps didn't Pu- hurt during puberty. that time. Opie, many men develop in and different ways. I didn't run ways. to my mom and say, I think I have breast cancer. Opie, people develop in different ways. Some people might have sensitive neepies. <laughs> Others don't, but yet develop uh, into men down in the waist while they're 18. You might look like a baby's binky in the shower. <laughs> Your neepies hurt. It might look like a hairless little clamshell yam bag. All right. Very good. Well, you know what? Now we have to take a break, but our listeners will kill us. Ah, oh, they're so going to kill us. we got to at least play a few clips before we go to break here. So we got some uh, clips from Being a Girl. <sighs> <sighs> What's the first clip about? It's just a Being a girl, of course. Being Let's go. a girl. When she's feeling icky. Right. Feeling icky? Icky? All right. No, uh, you know what? what is it, Opie? God damn it, I what knew is it was it, a? It's A. Who switched it to B? It's always A. It's always A. Did someone switch it to B? Someone switched A to B. To B. 
Okay, is Positive. that what we're going with? Because we were using the same pot, the B Metro pot, earlier. So what are you saying, officially? Officially, it was B, and it was supposed to be A. <laughs> Everyone knows it's A at this point. I love when you make it official. Okay. We've, been, we've been on in Albany six days. Even <laughs> they know it's A. It's always A. It's always okay. effing A. But someone switched it to B. For whatever reason. Okay, thanks. A clip from Being a Girl. I think they do that just to annoy me, so I go through the, whole, the, the speech three times a week. <laughs> go ahead. Well, darling, that reminds me. I bought some flowers for tonight. Would you arrange them for me before the guests, or how do you do it so well? Mom, will it be okay if I take my bath first? I feel kind of icky. Oh, sure, darling. Are you still menstruating? A little. Did you buy the sanitary napkins for me today? Mm-hmm, they're on your bed. Now, you just go take a nice bath, and we can fix the flowers later. <laughs> Get that stink off you, bitch. <laughs> if she's feeling icky. Maybe, maybe a shower. I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to sit here like I'm sitting in tomato soup. <laughs> <laughs> take a bath. I feel, you know, icky. Now the <laughs> bath. I'm on the rag, riding the cotton pony, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> now the bath tub looks like Lipton tea. Oh, God. <laughs> Take a bath. Yes, your pads are right up on your bed. Ugh. She just teaves them on the bed. There you go. Why does the audio suck so bad? I'd better change the sheets. It was horrible. All right, let's. Yeah, see. it is a little odd. It's Hopefully, not a much clearer is better. in the back office. Yeah, uh, a little crackly. All right, let's try another clip from being a. Girl. All right, being. Did a girl. you see that dress at the teen shop? What dress? The one that was pale yellow with flowers across here and a sash in the back. Oh, I know the one. Oh, Mom, could I have it? Here it is. Libby, where would you wear a dress like that? I'm as old as Jean, and she wears clothes like that. Oh, come here, Libby. Jean is more developed than you are, dear. You still have your little girl looks and shape. I know, but we're the same age. But you're two different people. Some girls grow up sooner than others. Some not till they're 15 or 16. <laughs> some not till they're 15 or 16. And huh? some bum the kid out. And some never get big neepies. <laughs> Neepy. <laughs> uh, Before you know it, a most important thing will happen. What's that? You'll begin to menstruate. <laughs> Do you know what that means? It means you can have a baby. That's right. So your body prepares for it. What do you mean? Well, your body makes a warm, soft place out of blood and tissue for a baby to grow. And when there is no baby, the body gets rid of this blood and tissue through the lower part of the body. That's menstruating? Uh-huh. And once it starts, it'll happen every month never for a end. period of a few days. That's why it's sometimes also called the period. Right. I don't know if I'll like it. No, you won't. Oh, I Libby. You said you couldn't wait to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the woman's nightmare. And believe me, the men are going to want to find that soft, warm place. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft, warm place, all right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, Libby. <laughs> oh, Libby. It starts and it goes forever and ever until you dry up like a prune, like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that great? Yeah, one more before break. Still uh, the same uh, mother-daughter team here? Yeah. Libby. A Come on, let me show you. A clip from Being a Girl. Yeah. Come on, let me show you something. Hmm? I know, sanitary napkins. Go ahead and open them. I've seen them in my magazine. Would you like to learn how to use them? I, I just, I gotta explain. Yeah. The box is as big as a Nike sneakers box. Huge. <laughs> Huge, just laying on the bed. It says Modest on them. And, and, and they're just these giant, these, she brings out these giant pads. This is the, uh, what we described earlier as the porch swing. Yeah, and then she brings the belt out and shows how it uh, goes together. And it looks just like a porch swing. Yeah. Guess I'd better. All right. You'll need this sanitary belt, too, to hold them in place. It goes around your waist under your panties. Yeah. Then you put... The short end of the napkin what? through the front fastener. The front what? And the longer end through the fastener in the back. See? 
But won't it leak through? No. The napkin absorbs the menstrual flow. <laughs> napkin? <laughs> napkin. The pillow. It's not a nap. Yeah, why do they call it a napkin? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pillow. It's exactly, it looked like one of those airplane pillows <laughs> right. they give you. You can't put your head on a napkin at night to get a good night's rest. It's a napkin. Yeah, like a neck brace for when people have whiplash. <laughs> you slap that on the back of your head. All right, we have more clips, but we definitely have to take a break. Unbelievable. Mm. That's right, darling. It looks like diarrhea coming out of your <laughs> <laughs> And don't worry if it looks like salsa. Once you get hair around your... <laughs> the cliffs might catch them and hurt. But it won't hurt as much as having your first big... <laughs> <laughs> ah, great. Uh, Jared? Yeah. What's up, buddy? His name you is Jared. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, John wants to know if you got your uh, period right after the nip thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you tool. Hey, it's John, not I me. did not. Go ahead, Jared. It's John, actually, from Cleveland. Oh, sorry, bro. Um, I have a daughter who's like eight years old. How does a single parent, as a father, go about explaining this to their kids? Uh-oh, dude. Do you, you got to have you know, a sister? Or... Do you have a sister? Yeah, I have a sister. Yeah, have, you have her aunt do it. you got to be ridiculous. You'll sound ridiculous. <laughs> you can't yeah, be doing that. It's like going down the aisle. What size do you buy them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you got to uh, tell your sister to take one for the team. Yeah. Well, I hope she does it. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, thanks for the support in Cleveland. All right, you guys rock. Man. All right, cool. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Being a girl, little twelve-year-old Libby, on this uh, fine film from from the sixties, I guess. Yeah, this is uh, maybe early sixties. This is one of our favorite things uh, we've hit on over the years. These educational films. Yeah, I've had the collection at my house for a while, and uh, we've dug up some more for today. This is this is uh, little Libby and Libby's mommy talking about Libby uh, growing into a, a woman. <laughs> and I uh, don't. And on a future episode of the Opie and Anthony show, yeah. the educational film, Beware of the Homos. Beware of the Homos, the Navy film. That's right. Oh. All right, here's another clip with uh, Libby. Is the daughter? Libby's the daughter. Hey, Libby, uh, you're menstruating. Okay, Libby and her mom. And Libby, see this blue polyethylene on the bottom of and the side? Uh-huh. That's a special moisture-proof shield to prevent accidents. Uh, Besides, you should change to a fresh napkin every three or four hours. What do I do with the one I take off? <laughs> no, you wrap it in toilet tissue or a paper towel and throw it in the wastebasket. Well, Libby, you rub it in your brother's face. <laughs> 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 it's just so rough being a chick. You chicks have to change your pillow every three or four oh hours. Oh my God! These your pillow. Well, these weren't napkins. These things were. They like, were the big. Yeah. Like uh, like Rick said, the collars you have to wear after getting a little whiplash in a little traffic uh, accident. You hear how she was talking about the polyethylene barrier? <laughs> it's made from a space age polymer. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh. She's got the big pillow with the big belt, and it's, she's just showing the, the daughter how it fits on the belt, and then she holds it up, and it looks like a porch, porch swing. swing. <laughs> it's just gigantic, ridiculously gigantic, bulky thing. Libby, you look ridiculous. Libby, you can't afford to be looking ridiculous. Libby. All right, here's another clip. Being a girl. But, Mom, suppose it happens at school or someplace where I don't have this. You look in the restroom. If there's not a napkin dispenser there, you ask the nurse or a teacher. Oh, and Libby, oh. I bought you this. It's a special sanitary panty you might yeah. want to try instead of the belt. The napkin fits right inside. Ooh. You might find it more comfortable than the belt. The elastic loops hold the napkin in place. Huh? What? Gee, Mom, they look just like my regular panties. Gee, thanks. Wow, we sure had some important talk. Wow, I'll say we did. Wow, wow. Whip them out Wednesday. That's wow, right. I say we did. <laughs> wow. That's one important talk I'll never forget. It'll affect me mentally forever, Mom. Oh, Libby. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm completely turned off to sex at any capacity, Mom. That's fine, Libby. <laughs> when your father's hammering as hard <laughs> into... <laughs> Into the warm, moist place made of blood and tissue. <laughs> tits. <laughs> tits. That is the most horrid little speech about menstruation. <laughs> now, I, I guess the next clips we have is after Lil Libby right. actually gets it. The film shows uh, Libby sitting on a chair. She's playing her guitar. Is that and, the next uh, clip? Well, actually, no, this is the pool scene, right? Pool scene. Yeah, with her the friend. pool? I thought that was after. Oh. No. Oh, she hadn't had it yet. Look at me, chronologically retarded. And now she, uh, she's got some, uh, inf uh, some news for her friend, I think. Some info. Now she's going to the friend who already has it. Right. And another girl comes over who also knows what the curse is all about. All right, here we go. Huh. How long? About a year. Do you? Do I want? Menstruate. Of course, Billy. How come you never told me? I don't know. I always felt it was kind of personal. And besides, it's nothing special. It happens to every girl. What happens to every girl? Womanhood. Oh, you mean the curse. What do you call it? The curse. You know, being unwell. <laughs> Why do you call it that? I don't know. Some people do. Hey, come on. Let's go swimming. No. You go. We'll be in later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 I don't want to be swimming in that pool. Oh, it's all going. Yes. <laughs> yes, Butters. The curse. You know, being unwell. <laughs> Sounds like, what, diphtheria? What the hell do you got? <laughs> you know, the curse, being unwell. <laughs> I'm unwell. Go away. Tishy. <laughs> it's made of blood and tissue. <laughs> You're unwell with the curse. Wow. <laughs> That is classic stuff, man. Now do we go to Libby and the mom again? And she's got a built-in flotation device where she jumps in the pool. Oh, forget <laughs> it. The pool level d go down two feet when it absorbs into that thing. <laughs> kind of like those old <laughs> commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How awful is that? She's got to go in the pool with that big thing. Ugh, it's like riding a, a one of those blow-up toys. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a horse head on it. Here's one with a blow-up horse head for when you go to the pool. That way they won't know you're unwell. unwell. You're unwell. Us guys don't have anything to be unwell about during that time. Yeah, it's, Except uh, for the fact you want to just hump everything <laughs> like a chihuahua. But I'm unwell. <laughs> All right, here's the mother back. She's playing the guitar. This? And it says, next summer. or, or yeah. yeah, it says, oh. next summer. Um, if you're driving right now and you're speeding, slow down like yeah. five miles. Yeah, you might want to. Uh, you know, slow down about a five to ten miles because you <laughs> might run off the road when you hear this one. Here it goes. Guess what, Mom? You're menstruating. <laughs> How did you know? I can smell it. Oh, I expected it. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> All right, I guess. You don't seem... Oh, quite as bubbly as usual. Bubbly. Are you sure you feel like bowling? I'm all right. Well, you're right. I guess there's no need to mope around just because you're menstruating. But don't overdo. Hmm? Okay, I won't. <laughs> Mom, how'd you know? We had a, How'd you know? We had to throw away the couch. <laughs> you're menstruating. She knows. Just be careful. Don't overdo it, and don't get around any cats, whatever you do. <laughs> They'll lunge at your little... <laughs> <laughs> what an awful way. The, the little pause was great, because she's sitting in the chair, playing her guitar. Playing a guitar. The mother walks in, and she just goes, you know, Mom, guess what? And the mother looks. There's a long, dramatic pause. She looks with the look in her face like... My little girl is growing up, and then she just smiles because she doesn't want to. You know, there's nothing bad going on. You're menstruating. Just play that quick part again. Guess what, Mom? You're menstruating. She lost her little girl right there. Right there. You're menstruating. How did you know? The trail from the kitchen to the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. I went up to your bedroom. It looks like the Battle of the Bulge was fought up there. 
what happened? <laughs> of course I know. <laughs> Looks like your sister fell in a Cuisinart. <laughs> of course you're menstruating. I saw all the tissue. <laughs> <laughs> God, of course you're menstruating. It smelled like when we were at Coney Island, but we hadn't lived there in years. <laughs> of course. There's a beach within a hundred miles of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here, take this Nike box of pillows upstairs and strap one on. <sighs> that is some great stuff. We got more, I think. Oh, God, Rick. No. No. No, no. You're menstruating indeed. <laughs> You're quite the cool cat. <laughs> oh, boy. How many more we got? We got like five. Oh, let's cool. keep going. I man. love these. More clips from being a girl. Cringe education. People calling it. You'll out. understand better if you know something about how you got to be a girl. So let's begin by examining the facts of birth. We should explain. I think uh, it's obvious to everyone. Uh, this is a whole different film. Oh, it is? Little Libby's gone? I think that's it's it. Same, the same film. Sa same same film, but now it's in the classroom with the, uh, ah. with the, uh, the, the you know, health education. Uh, education. Yeah, right? Now, actually, each of you began life about nine months before you were born oh. as a microscopic living organism, mm -hmm. a single cell that resulted from the joining together of two other cells. Yeah. One from your mother and one from your father. This little cell found a safe shelter in your mother's body. Oh. In a soft, blood-rich organ called the uterus. Blood-rich. That sounds lovely. What happened in Buffalo? They dumped out of Buffalo? What? They're not hearing this in Buffalo. Went to commercials with that clip playing in the background. Then commercials stopped and the clip was over. What the F? All we're getting is commercials. Buffalo is dumping out. The dickheads in Buffalo just played damn promo over the talk. What's going on in Buffalo? Stop it. Come on. They play this crap in schools. They better not be having a problem with this in Buffalo. Oh, and we're mm -hmm. getting along so well with Buffalo. Yeah. Trust me. If, if we have to dump out of this stuff, we got the guy. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Don't worry about if it. If he's not dumping out, it's okay. Tell Ben or someone to get on the uh, line with Buffalo and see if the problem is, uh, like, with them technically or what have you. All yeah. right. Blood-rich organ. Great. Anything else that's uh, entertaining? I don't like the teacher talk. What? You got something, Ray? Just, yeah. just all, the, all the descriptions of the body. All right. Let's hear. Of course, you still have your little girl looks. But not for long. Uh-oh, not for you long. You are approaching adolescence. Adolescence. A gland called the pituitary begins to encourage different parts of your body to turn into that of a woman. Little by little, each one of you growing differently in height, weight, and bone structure. Your breasts will begin to develop, getting rounder and fuller. Hopefully. Your hips will <laughs> fill out, taking on softer, more womanly contours. Ooh. And the soft growth of hair will appear under your arms and in the pubic area. Is that supposed to be Your sexy? body will awaken internally. Awaken. And those organs that make you uniquely a girl will begin to develop, too. Nice. Release the Kraken. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like that? This would unleash a beast upon the earth. She made it sound like every uh, woman's going to be a supermodel. I know. Like you come out of a pupa phase. <laughs> Crack open your old shell. And have big cans and hips. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Sometimes it don't happen, lady. <laughs> Look at Stalker Patty. Sometimes you get the huge hips and no, and no cans. Yeah. Stalker Patty's 45 years old. She still has that body of a 12-year-old that they're talking about. you like... When am I getting my hips and run breast? <laughs> Hi, teacher, it didn't happen. I haven't had it. Where's my womanly beauty I'm supposed to have? Get the body of an ant. Hi, my name is Stalker Libby. 
<laughs> I have the bloody Libby. Patty, you're menstruating. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> I saw all the dust. Oh, Buffalo's on the phone? Yeah, what's going on? Is what's this going the, on is over there? The Godfather. Hey, man, Buffalo. Buffalo's on the phone, man. What the hell's the matter with you guys, man? We ain't cutting out of nothing. Well, we got a bunch of... Nah, uh, it was just an accidental trip. I don't know, something tripped the pot and it went off. That's 90 seconds later. Well, you just said the S word. I like to say the S word. Well, you're on the Leap air. Leap it. You can't. Leap it. We just right. did there, Buffalo. Yeah, everything's cool in Buffalo, all right? All right. All right. All right. We're, we're sure. just getting to the bottom of it. We're not sure if you, you, you spilled the Labats on the board or something. No, um. I didn't spill no Labats on the board. <laughs> I drink Budweiser, my friend. You love that <laughs> Labats up there. No, I drink Budweiser. All right. Yeah, no, everything's cool, man. Just something just got tripped accidentally. Well, we, we were getting a little scared because we got a nice relationship going. You ain't got nothing phone. to worry about down here. We don't bleep ass. All right, cool. All, All right, right. Man. Thank you, Buff. All right, baby. There goes Buffalo. All right, baby. Buffalo represented the Opie and Anthony show last night. Huge uh, during WWF Raw, by the way. Tons of ONA wow signs. Yeah. All over the tube last night. Two more clips. Okay. They are two ovaries. Two narrow passageways called the fallopian tubes and, and the Lincoln the Tunnel. Uterus. And they're all surprisingly small. Mm. The uterus, <laughs> not more than the size of a pear. Fast forward. <laughs> the ovaries, <laughs> not more than the size of walnuts. Look at mine, it's fallen out. Then there's the vagina. Ooh. The passage from the uterus to the outside of your body. Gold! That's what they call gold! We struck us gold! <laughs> screw, the, screw what's going on inside. We just like that last section she was chatting about. There's gold in there! <laughs> and that's sick. Who needs to see the whole uh, Holland Tunnel? No! I just want to make sure it has a nice entrance. Just the entrance has <laughs> right. to be nice. The toll plaza. You just assume the rest is nice. The rest is nice. <laughs> right. You know, i got to describe it or see it. I know it's functional. Look at the beginning of the Holland Tunnel. It's all decorated nice. It's all it gets you to and from. There's an easy pass lane right there. Sometimes you get in there and there's tiles falling off the walls. But yeah. you don't care. You don't care because the entrance way looks nice. Sometimes you ever uh, driving through and it's leaking on you. <laughs> and they're like, where the hell is that coming from? The tunnel open. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you don't have to know. It's just serving its purpose. It it's doesn't matter because you, you, you saw the nice entrance way. Right. It made me feel good that the entrance way looked nice. Made me feel safe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that I was going into a nice place. <laughs> All right. There you Last go. Clip. Last clip. And more of the teacher. All right. As you approach your womanhood, mm -hmm. these organs begin to function. And your very first menstrual cycle begins. Yay. The ovaries release an ovum, a single egg cell which finds its way into one of the fallopian tubes. Very slowly, this little egg cell like travels through this tube <laughs> towards the uterus. Mm -hmm. But before it gets there, the mm -hmm. uterus prepares for it, builds up a special lining of blood and tissue, tissue. so that this little egg cell can grow into a baby if it were fertilized by a male cell. Perish the thought. Sometimes, as in my case, the man you're with doesn't want it and he'll punch you in the stomach repeatedly to dislodge this tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh. All right. Get the pill in there. Get an IUD in there or something. Sometimes a condom is used. It can be rolled on with the mouth. <laughs> if you're a pro. <laughs> what are you writing, Rick? <laughs> yeah, look at Rick. Look at Rick go with his sick mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they'll finish in your A. Like Meg, who's now dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good call, Meg. Even though a nice place is prepared in the front... <laughs> That's not good enough for some of the boys. Sometimes people don't want babies. Right. So they'll plow the <laughs> into a hot steaming batch of <laughs> is fired there. Safely away from any danger of making a little bambino. <laughs> but you could just clinch and walk to the fertility clinic. <laughs> where an unscrupulous doctor will take a 
turkey baster, suck it out, and put it in and make you pregnant. <laughs> I love it. Great stuff.